Welcome back, builders. This is Lego Worlds, and I'm uh, Papa Big Cat, and let's get started. All right. Well, in the last episode, uh, episode 16, we found a dungeon in a like, huge world, and I think I need to scan this plant. Yep. Do a yellow flower one. What? Well, it came from over here. <laughs> Some don't add up. But yeah, in the last episode we got into this dungeon. We got ourselves the key and we opened up the main chest at the bottom. So in this episode what I'm going to do is I would like to open up another huge world. But I wanted to explore this one a little bit before we do. To see if we can find anything awesome. And I think I'm going to use that one sword that was really fast. The Lloyd sword. I'm going to use this for a while. And if I find a yellow health enemy, which I still can't do any damage to, I'm going to see if the Lloyd Sword can do that. And hopefully you can get the Black Katana and the rest of the things in this episode. We'll see. So we're mainly going to be exploring and trying to find new items and new dungeons and whatnot. Oh, almost had you. I think it seems like the uh, goblins are a little faster. Maybe because of huge worlds, they're the fastest they can be. So I can't really get, you know, caught up with them very easily compared to at the beginning. All right. I like these big trees. These are awesome. But I know it's not a new uh, biome. It's because usually the uh, the announcer will say the new biome's name. I just don't remember these huge trees. I remember being here once yesterday, heading towards the uh, dungeon. I just hope this sword's awesome. It's putting off like a, a green glow to it. I'm not sure if that helps take out the yellow health enemies. Well, we're going to find out if we find some, I guess. Yeah, most of the huge worlds I was trying to spawn yesterday, it was just all ocean with a little island in the middle. It's like, that doesn't make sense. See, it, and it seems like this island, where the dungeon is, it's just an island. It's not a whole landmass, like a huge landmass. Oh, there's a chest up here. So that's why I want to open up a new world and hopefully we'll get something better than an island. Oh, uh, it's in a cave, isn't it? You. Yep. I think if you're on the sur well, it helps to see the chest underground, though. But at the same time, it really confuses things. Is there a hole in this? Or I've already, yep, I've already been in that one. Yeah, this is not a very big area. I don't understand these trees. Is that how they're supposed to spawn? It seems like they're broken. It's like they're not supposed to be like that. Or is it just me? <laughs> what is up with this? It's a bramble or a thorny area. Is this a desert here? Yep. This supposed to be like an Egyptian god or something. Anubis or something. This is a very small uh, desert area. That oh, was tiny. What do we got here? Half track. Uh oh, cave. Now I wonder, does this cave lead to any chests? The sword's really fast, and that's what I like about it. Having that fast attack speed will be awesome, especially when you're taking on a group of enemies. Hey, Skelly. Goodbye, Skelly. 
Now, let's see if we have any yellow health enemies down here and see if I can do any damage. I think I tried this once on yellow health enemies. And it did nothing. But I can't remember. And I think when I get to 100 gold bricks, and I think 100 gold bricks, bricks is uh, the master builder rank. And I think after that I might stop playing Lego Worlds because, you know, at that point, you know, I don't have to discover everything, you know. It's just a let's play for you guys to check out the games, you know, yourself. And I might be moving to Minecraft. I have, with all the new updates to Minecraft and whatnot, I'm kind of missing playing that game. I haven't played it in a long time. In a very long time. That game has at least updated like five or six times since I've last played it or more. Oh, you got a brick. Two items, huh? You. I'm not, I don't not like being attacked when I'm trying to shop, you know? Alright. Come on. Can I not buy it? It's not letting me buy it. Is the shop broken? Uh, I'm pushing like everything and I can't buy this block. What's going on? I want this block, man. Oh, I can buy this, but I can't buy the other thing? No, oh, do I already own this? It looks like maybe a six stud flat block. Let's see here. It'd be in this. Tab. No. Maybe I got the wrong one. The build tool? Yeah, build tool. Here we go. Let's see if we have that flat block. Yep, we do right here. The one by two flat tile. Well, it could be this one. Which looks like the six stud one. If that's the case, then why can't I not buy? Man. I don't understand you games sometimes, you just don't make any sense. <laughs> they really don't. I see block, I want buy block. And it's like, nope, you can't have block. Got a lot of skellies. So many skellies. I like the speed of this sword, it's awesome. It's like the uh, the katana, which is a fast sword as well. There's something way over there. Get off me, man. There's a big chest right here in the open. What? I'm okay with that. That is awesome. What you got? Uh, another flat block? Oh, that's a big one, too. That's a 2 by like 20 or something. Maybe we should have a, have a head over there. Alright, let's get to this boat. This pontoon boat. I did not want that, man. I pushed Q to get in the boat. Q brings out the last tool to use, by the way. Even though I was close to the boat, it didn't count, and it was like, no, we're going to open up the, uh, the tool for you. I still don't know what, how to do this underwater stuff. There's a lot of stuff underwater, and I don't, just, you can't open things up, or you can't use tools underwater, so I don't know what to do about that. I mean, you know how much treasure and stuff's under there? Man. The moon's over there, but I see it right here in the reflection. Weird. It should be like right here. The reflection does not make any sense. That's a long ways to get to this gold brick. I hear dolphins, there's octopus, sharks, a skeleton. Weird. What's this land? The land of unknowns? The land of the lost? 
somewhere I've already seen before. Looks like a desert area. Dude. Well, it takes out the zombie very, or that mummy very, very quickly. Now, do we have any yellow health enemies around here? That I could test this on to see if it actually does damage. And this needs to be scanned. New tree. You. Yeah. I'll take any and everything to scan. What's up, man? I think the the these guys are weak to this. Look how fast they die. It's like instant instantaneously. But you're still not fast enough to take out the enemies, though. It never is. I think they need to add some more stuff to the game and give you a little bit more options when it comes to fighting zombies and the yellow health enemies. I do not want to get in here. What are you doing? And you got any unequipped the weapon, thanks. Seems like games doesn't want you to win what you need. Oh. I can't help you if you just run away. What? Why'd that music just play? What did I unlock? Do I have that plant? Yes. But yeah, if, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do a Lego, or not Lego, but a, um, the, I just lost my train of thought, but Minecraft, there you go. This guy's want me, I think this guy wants me to build him something. And try to build stuff off camera, that's the hard part, or on camera, I can do it off camera. Alright. Nope. Back out. Build tool. Go away and pop. And pop. One more. Money, money, money. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to find a new big world. This world has a little bit of stuff in it, but it. it it's all like sp spread out into islands and whatnot. They're not very big. We need to get our first dungeon here. But as in, as of new things here, not very many. So it's probably a good idea to go to a different area. Yeah, this guy wants me to build him something. And they switched my item. You know, I need to keep a weapon handy at all times. Thank you. Yeah, he wants me to build him. Yep, build tool. So I might have to help him off camera. Because building stuff takes a long time in this game. Even more so than Minecraft. Because you got so many different types of blocks. From itty bitty blocks to large blocks. So, it, you have to be a little bit more meticulous about building. Is there a chest inside the Sphinx? Oh, yes, there is. There's a door right here. Sweet. Whoa. Ow, I did not see that, man. Hey, where's my sword? Why did I equip that again? Now, where is this thing? Do I have to break through the wall? I can't see, dude. I'm going to tap the Sphinx to find out where the treasure is. Um, some of these camera angles just do not help the situation at all. I don't know if you guys notice, these camera angles are pretty bad. Sometimes. Alright, there's nothing above us. Not unless it's up in the clouds, which I highly doubt. Where is this chest? There's like a trap and stuff in here. There it is. 
How do you get in there? Well, it's just beyond this wall. Weird. Um, dude, where are you pointing? Dude, where are you pointing, man? Where's your cursor going? Jeez. Yeah, there's something that, when this area spawned right here, where this chest supposed to be, it seems like the world spawned around it that was not quite what it was supposed to be. And I'm up there again. Yeah, there's still some glitchiness to this game that doesn't make any sense. How, what am I? What? Where am I? I mean, seriously, where am I now? Get, get, get up. Get up. Get off. Get off. Get off. Wow, the climbing mechanics slash the camera does not like you. Situation is kind of annoying. But some of the building controls are like, what am I even trying to do here? And I get hurt by nothing? Get off the wall. Wow, you can't see what, what you're supposed to be doing down here at all. I just can't see anything. It's just nothing but awful. Makes you wonder why is it like this? Why is it so difficult to get to it? I think that was a small chest. See, there's a treasure room back here, but it was buried by the land forming around it, or the random generation, if you will. This chest looks invisible. I don't. I can't even see what's solid and what's not solid. Really confusing. I mean, it seems like in the building menu, like building blocks or taking away blocks, the game really struggles to, you know, help you out. The camera hates you and all that kind of thing. Alright, I gotta put some blocks down so I can actually walk over there and open the chest. Will this work? What the... Did it actually get rid of my chest? Oh, it moved it down. What the... What is going on, game? Why do you have to struggle with me so bad? I'm spending all this time doing something that... I shouldn't be having to do, you know? Yes, it is a bit frustrating. It should not be this bad. Come on. Give me some kind of movement in the, in the menus here. Right, I don't even know where... See, how am I supposed to know where my cursor is supposed to be, you know? The cursor is like, you can't tell where it needs to be going. Or where it's at. If that makes any sense. Is that, a, is that enough? I've been off after this chest way too long. Finally. <laughs> what did I get? Another brick build. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna get my boot out of here. Yep, there is a treasure room back here. See, there's this money. It just says treasure room got destroyed by land generation, and all the stuff like went weird. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head on to another world. Or at least try to. Or I could, you know, I could walk all the way back. Or we could just go do this. It'll take me straight to the rocket. Because it is pretty far away. This place is, was not that great. 
And if you guys have watched my episode yesterday, you know that when I went and uh, came here, or I, when I was looking for random worlds, it literally was nothing but ocean worlds over and over again. You can't have just ocean worlds. Alright. See, it just these ocean worlds with an island in it. Are these huge? Are these considered the huge worlds? This size? Quit giving me something that has mainly water. See, mostly water. Mostly water. A bit more land, but smaller. A lot more land, but smaller. Huge, but tiny island. Seriously, why is every huge world considered to be nothing but water? Oh wow, this is a huge world, I think. And it has a lot more land than water. Let's go! <laughs> Something new, yay! Grab me a drink, I am thirsty. Alright. Feel a little bit better now? Dive, dive, dive. I'm supposed to be asleep at the helm, man. Told you. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Something cool? Something awesome? New dungeon? A town? An awesome town? Ooh, I like these red trees. Oh, it's like a uh, fall biome. Really, you pick out this tiny little island to land on. There's some scannables down there, but does my thing reach? Yep, it reaches. Nice. And a new boat. Well, that's a little submarine. Cool. I like. Well, that just... Not that deep over here. Normal. Then you go over here, it's like, whoa. Oh, that looks new. Let's see if it is new. Move it closer to land here so I can actually have a scanning range. There we yep, there it is. Nope, pick up. Oh, yeah, that's definitely new. That is cool. But it still doesn't help me when you're down there. You can't open chests and stuff with it. Oh, wow, good. Look at these guys. There's three dungeons here. Wow. They're all over there, though. Ooh, look at these mushrooms. Are, are these mushrooms? No. Flowers? Yeah, it's a fall biome. See these leaves Falling falling? Forest. Awesome. Now the colors here are going to be awesome. Look at this. I don't remember this biome from before. When I played this before. The computer version I barely played compared to the PS4 version. Because the controls were so bad. I just needed to practice them a bit more. And I got a lot better at it. But it still is kind of cumbersome. Well, we got four dungeons in this this world. Four whole dungeons. Wow. I think I like this biome too. The cherry blossom biome, and now this one. All right. Yeah, where I live in IRL or real life. We get fall like leaves like this. Well, so far I'm not finding too many new items to discover, but it's a very pretty biome though. Now this one's uh, this world's probably more worth exploring because of the uh, amount of landmass compared to ocean. Ooh, which? Let's see a witch over there. Yes. Are you a yellow health? 
I want to try something. We got the Lloyd sword. Are you yellow health? No, you're black health. Dang it. Well, Lloyd sword does not hurt black health enemies. We just found that out. Unless we, at least we knew. Now we're going into some lava biome. Oh, ow. My bum just got burnt. Now, if I, I don't know if I, if I can find them yet, but in these biomes, you'll find a, a, a new kind of enemy type. Well, really, what the heck happened over there? Something blew up. But in a biome like this, you can find an it. Well, it's an enemy slash a companion, and that new companion is a dragon. And I have not yet seen the dragon. Is there? A, yep, I see you up there. You can't go over there. <laughs> it's lava. It's liquid hot magma. Is that a roof tile? Heck yeah, man. I'll take that roof tile. Yep, this biome's not big enough. You need a world that has mainly this kind of uh, biome to it. And then you can start finding dragons. But this one's really small. Still have not found any yellow health enemies. We found a black health enemy and that... This sword did nothing to him. Ooh. This horse. No. When I push Q, it doesn't ride the vehicle that's near me for some reason flaming horse see if I can take a good shot right here that is cool no lava what is that ogre man I can't hurt this dude either. Or the witch. But I can't tell how much health, what kind of health he has. It doesn't show me yellow, black, or red. Hmm. I'm guessing yellow or black. And if his health is yellow, because he doesn't look like an undead or a cursed creature, most likely it's going to be the yellow health. And I still did no damage, if you've noticed. Where's the chest in here? Is it up top? I'm cutting into this cake for no reason. There it is. Treasure room discovered. And I'm all the way back down. Okay. Bam. Another brick build. We got ourselves a cake of some kind. Some pastry. And all them studs. So many studs. We got a lot of studs. I think we're good for a while. What is that over there? It's really pointy. Is that like a, a slice of pie? No, it's just a mountain. A weird looking mountain. But we've seen the color or the candy land before. Good luck with your pig problem. We got four dungeons to explore. And it took an entire episode last time. So I might try to do all these dungeons off camera, maybe, we'll see. Well at least some of them. Because yesterday if you watched my last episode, well it didn't take the entire video, but it did take about half of the video to do the dungeon. It's kind of uh, maze-like down there, so you can get lost easily. And then trying to find your way out. That's the problem I had yesterday. After after I uh, ended the video, I was trying to find my way out, and it took a while. So it's probably a good idea for you guys with you, when you go into those dungeons. Whoa, what is that? We're going into the dungeons to basically maybe put some blocks down or something. 
to mark your path out like you can in Minecraft. People use redstone or they'll use torches on like a certain side of the wall or whatever. Probably kind of do the same thing in the dungeons here so you don't get lost down the side. Is this the dinosaur biome? There's a gorilla. There's a block dude. Come here. Ah. Uh, why are you up in the leaves, man? Not good. Ow. Give me that block, it's mine. It's all mine. Got him. Another brick to the collection. Somebody's got a gold brick down here, but most likely it'll be something I can't do. It's usually the case. Where are you, underground? Oh, you're up there. Probably want help with, like, gorillas or zombies or something. And I notice, like, the, the missions here are pretty much the same. I don't know how to explain that too much. It's just, like, all the missions seems to be the same. This sword doesn't do uh, lions very well. What you got? Give me that gold brick. Yeah. 86. Oh, the studs. Alright. Another brick down. Another brick in the wall. Pink Floyd. Alright, this kind of looks like the dinosaur biome, but so far I've only ran into one dinosaur biome. I want a T-Rex. And a dragon. Alright. Hopefully we'll find a dragon before I end the series. Don't know how much longer I'll, I'll have this series going. Because some stuff in this game, I don't want to find everything on camera, you know. So you guys can play the games yourselves, experience the game, you know. And try to find all the stuff, and maybe you'll find all the stuff that I missed. And it's basically a let's play that shows off the game, so people can buy it. Oh, there's dinosaurs here. We got Velociraptors. Can I discover? No. No. Oh, these are zombies. But they have red health? You guys want bananas? That just doesn't make any sense. Bananas? A Velociraptor wanting a banana. You'd think they want a steak or something. But it is like a world, so nothing has to make sense, right? So there's dinosaurs here, and there's T-Rex. Mr. T-Rex. Now yeah, is there something about, oh, a big chest. Big chest. Right here. Yep. What are we going to get? Another brick field? The black katana, finally, after all this time? Or just dynamite? Well. That's just like a normal weapon item. Don't really want it. I already had dynamite though. Go oh, back up, please. You hit the wrong thing. Give me this back. Are you having fun over there or something? Sounds like you're jumping on a trampoline. Alright. Well, where's that T Rex? He was down here, wasn't he? Maybe, maybe I'll have a, a quest for T Rex. That'll give me some amazing things. Like discovery of T-Rex. Ah, oh, another big chest. Come on, give me something really, really amazing. The most amazing. 
pirate bomb. That's new. I've had dynamite before with pirate bomb. What's the difference? No, don't hit that. Is it just a normal bomb just have a different name? It looked like it. Pirate bomb. Doesn't have anything that indicates that it is a pirate bomb. Like a skull and crossbones or something. Right, where is that T-Rex? He was here when I went into the cave. He disappeared on me, guys. I was hoping I could help him out. There he is. Found him. Do you have a quest for me? And there's a gold dude right there. No, T-Rex, no. Don't, don't attack. And straight into the water. Every time. Got him. Mine now. Ha! Get out. You're not welcome here. Alright, do you have a quest for me, dude? Or are you just going to try to attack me? Oh, he's got yellow health. Nope, yellow health does not hurt T-Rex. Or, uh, this sword. What hurts yellow health? I think I already tried this. I was thinking maybe yellow colored. Like yellow or golden colored weapons would do the trick, like the black stuff, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't want this. Back up, please. And I'm about to die again. Rocket launcher? No. And you want to hit it physically with a rocket launcher. Smart. And you automatically switch my item, therefore I have to re-equip it. And you're facing the wrong way. Facing the wrong way. It does hurt them, but very, very little. I don't know. Oh, pretzel. So every time you pick up, every time you pick up a new item, it automatically switches your item out, and then you have to go back in your menu while you're getting killed to replace it, which is kind of really doesn't help at all all right where are you going we're gonna fight dude we're gonna fight I'm only fighting fair no this is fair right guys Discover. Discover. Being a first person is not helping me out in the slightest. Oh, me, no. What is going on? Why do I have this tool out again? I don't understand the controls sometimes. This stuff just seems so broken. Everything about this game seems broken. When you try to fight something, it's literally the most cumbersome thing you could ever go through. It really makes no sense. Why did why can I not discover them? Because she would not put away her tool. And put away her tool and then it came comes back again even though I'm pushing C to get rid of said tool. And there's your problem guys. There's some problems to this game that needs to be fixed. But I think the developers just gave up. I don't know. It's just it is very frustrating. Where is he at? T-Rex, where'd you go? And when you're in first person like this, it's hard to go back. At being out of t uh, first person, it's very cumbersome. 
and you have to put away the weapon before you can actually scan them. So in, in the scanning window, it's very, very small. And because it's being it's small, by the time it takes you to jump down, and I'm in the map. How am I in the map? Awful. A lot of this game is awful. Control wise, it's just very cumbersome. Why is moving the mouse not automatically tied to the camera and you have to hold down the right mouse button? Which is very cumbersome. Thanks for switching up my item. Automatically, for no reason. I may wonder why are you getting frustrated? Stuff like this is very frustrating. Um, I can't give him an item because it wouldn't allow me to. Now I've just wasted my turn to discovering him. No point. I'm done. The game doesn't allow you to do what you need to do. It is extremely frustrating. It shows you, oh, you can discover said creature after fighting it for a while. But yet you have to unequip your weapon and then give him the item that he needs before the window of opportunity disappears. And when the window of opportunity, by the time you're done unequipping your weapon and getting close to the, the creature that you're trying to learn, the window of opportunity to learn them is gone. Because it only lasts like three seconds. Roughly. And only thing, and for some reason, I still have not found any type of weapon in this game besi besides the bazooka to take on yellow health bar enemies. That shouldn't be a thing to begin with. Why is there special health bars for special weapons? And by the time you do get the weapons, they don't do enough damage to take on the enemies. Like, when you do the quest where you have to take on, like, four zombies to save a dude or something and it fails because the amount of zombies and the amount of damage that you do is not enough so I'm just going on a rant here about the problems of this game it's an awesome game it's a very awesome uh, genre of game it, you build a, a Lego Worlds type of game like this in the veins of say open world survival or like Minecraft and that's what everybody probably wants from this type of you know game it's a building game you know Legos is always about building you can think of Legos as the original Minecraft you know and so having a Lego game that is built off the same thing as Minecraft is awesome but when you mess up the controls this bad it makes it unplayable sometimes and then you add in new mechan or mechanics that don't make sense like having to what was it where you literally have to have like special weapon to take on the enemies like black health or yellow health enemies and you can't get the weapon and then when you finally do get the weapon it's not enough damage to actually take them out so I don't understand guys I really don't do I like this game yes but it still needs work and it seems like the developers of this game gave up I haven't seen a new update in months a long time actually so there's my two cents for you guys would I say it's worth buying well yes and no If you like Legos, then yes, I would say that it definitely would be worth buying. You just gotta get used to these weird controls. But if you're not a huge Legos fan, you just trying to find a game that's similar to Minecraft, probably not. So I don't know if it'd be worth it with the frustration with the controls and stuff and some of the game mechanics that don't make any sense. Like. 
you just saw that whole fiasco with that dinosaur just now, you know, when I was trying to capture that T-Rex. It was almost impossible. And then after you defeated the animal or creature, did they ask for an item? They ask for an item, and most of the time you don't know if you even have the item. Which I do have the item that, that uh, the T-Rex wanted, which was a chicken leg, it looked like. And I know I picked up several of those. But when I clicked E, it didn't do anything. It just, like, nope. And the window of opportunity after defeating an enemy is so short. Like, to discover them, it's like seconds long. How are you supposed to... And if you guys watch me, watch me doing this, it's like, you have to, you defeat the animal, right? Or the creature. You have to unequip that item that you just defeated that creature with. Like, the bazooka. I had to unequip that so I could hit E standing next to the creature to try to discover it or F. Yeah, you hit E to give them the item that they require, like he wanted the chicken leg. And then you gotta hit F in a window of five seconds. And you know, if I equip something like this and try to unequip it, it takes at least a full, a full second to do an unequipped and, and equipped. And then you gotta hit E. And then F. Yeah, and it gives you five seconds of learning opportunity. Yeah, that's not enough. But I do enjoy this game. You know, I wouldn't own it if I didn't. And I love Legos. But for, like, and especially a child. You know, this game would be kind of targeted towards children. You know, okay, that makes sense. But when the controls of the game are like expert level in some ways, I don't think a kid's going to be able to pick up these controls instantly. And it might take them a while to actually learn them. So that is a problem. I, I'm an adult here. I've been messing with PCs for a while. I've been playing games on PCs for a while. Different kinds of games from, you know, has many different types of control schemes. And this one's probably the most frustrating I've had so far. There's some really frustrating game games out there from early 90s and whatnot, where you have to like literally use the arrow keys and a weird combination of hands on the keyboard that makes no sense. And still, these controls are worse than that. Okay, guys. Well, I think uh, this uh, video is over. You got my little rant out, and you know how I feel about the game, you know, and that hopefully, you know, that will, you know, determine if you guys want the game or not. I have said this previously, is when you get this game, I would recommend using a controller. Hook up a controller to your PC, an Xbox 360 controller, or Xbox One, or even a PS4 if you can figure that out. It's a lot easier to play with a controller than it is the keyboard and mouse. It's very frustrating with a keyboard and mouse. So I hope that'll help you guys out. And yes, sir, this game's still got problems, but in some ways it's still worth it. The fun factor of discovering new items, new worlds, building things, you know, that's the fun factor. As long as you can get past the hurdle of the controls. So, uh, fans of Legos, yes. Worth it. Non-fans of Legos just looking for a game? Probably not. Just saying. Alright guys, well, uh, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. What the best uh, leeway or the... Uh, whatever that word is, I can't think of all of a sudden. But yeah, if you'd like to join, I would love to see 100 subscribers. That would be awesome. I would love to see a million subscribers like any other YouTuber, but I doubt if that will ever happen. You have to be a special kind of dumb, right? <laughs> I'm special kind of dumb, but not that special kind of dumb. <sighs> I'm still, I still feel frustrated right now. But, um... Yeah, if you uh, like the commentary, besides all the griping and stuff, and my thoughts of the game, 
to hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button because I'm still learning, guys. It's still a learning process that's going to be for a while. And it goes for anybody doing this kind of job. And uh, next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. Alright, guys. Well, each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.